Hey, Force Quest once again. Welcome back to another video. Um, this is another True Prime case request, and this time it's from Devin. And this one is for Mr. Anime, aka Trey. Um, God, what's his last name? Cesar, Cesar. Um, I'm bad with names, guys. Um, please bear with me, but um. He was, um, just like Randy Sayre, Chris Chan, and all them other guys I covered, he was obviously a YouTuber. But he was, way, way back in the day, like seven if not eight years ago, um, he basically kickstarted the anime community. Which I do like anime, but there are different kinds I like, um... So he do some, he would do um, anime reviews, type type of reviews, sit in the camera, um, sit in front of the camera and talk about kind of like how I am doing right now, and he would make reviews for animes. He would do really good rant. He would do really um, rage, some rants, and he would not sugarcoat anything. He would give his um, two cents out and all that stuff. Well. He, um, <clears throat> he became one of the most horrific killers, um, to ever come out, um, for his time. We'll get that in a little bit. But, I mean, the thing is, Trey was a normal guy. I mean, <clears throat> from what I've heard, he never, he was never bullied at school. He had never had any trouble with his parents or anything like that. I mean, he was a normal guy. I mean, he was making YouTube videos just like Randy. I mean, of course, him, he, he, just like Randy, his videos turned dark, um, bloody, and mean spirited. He, um, <clears throat> um, started reviews for guns, firearms, any type of weapon you get your hands on, he would review it. Where do you get the money for that kind of stuff? I don't fucking know. But, he, um, basically, he was like, he had film videos of him shooting, um, it was him, um, I guess he has some type of twin brother, not twin brother, but he had some type, he had like, I don't know if it was him, and it was the same guy, or if it was a twin brother, I don't know, but the, there's two of him in some of the videos. I don't know if it's him, him, or if it's, like, another person, um, entirely. I don't know, but, um, he would, you know, film himself shooting stuff and shooting people, shooting cans and bottles and stuff, but, um, he, he came, became, um, obsessed with Columbine, because, of course, another Columbine, <clears throat> Um, another person obsessed with the Columbine shooting for whatever reason. Um, I don't understand why people find them people heroes. I mean, they killed bunches of people. But, whatever. So, his mom bought him a gun, just like, just like Randy Sarah. I mean, him and Randy Sarah basically are the same person, only they kill different people. Um... Plus, um, Mr. Animated wasn't addicted to a creep, creepy cartoon character. Or he didn't have that creepy obsession with the cartoon character is what I meant to say. But, he became obsessed with this call by himself, and then he'd, he'd be like, I'm gonna go shoot up that fucking high school, and I'm gonna become one of the more infamous serial killers for call for school one of them one of the most infamous school shooters ever. Um so before that he posted there's some videos of him online that we uploaded for whatever reason. Um there's one called um him ranting about all the shootings that have been happening. He's like, Oh, um it is very disturbing the fact that you might be a member of a school shooting but it happens. But the thing is, he became one. I mean, that video made no sense. We'll see what he fucking ended up doing to his parents and his brother. 
Um, then then he made he made another video on saying it's called Mr. Anime is playing something. You're like, oh my god, and he was talking about. Thanks. He was giving, um, basically he was giving a, um, a huge thanks to his fans and, you know, thank you all for the subscribers, thank you so much for the love, all that kind of stuff. After we posted that video, um, <clears throat> no, he posted that video, then he made another one saying, um, he got a job at some kind of, <clears throat> company of filmmaking <clears throat> <clears throat> turned out that was a big fat fucking lie because um what he ended up doing is he bought a firearm and he killed his mom his dad and his brother and all of his pets yes very disturbing but he did it how did he do it he wa he lured his um, mom out in the garage, shot her, I guess, in the chest and in the face. Um, uh, um by the way, I apologize for not giving any content warning at the beginning of this video. I should have done that. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> I'm just gonna put a warning on the um title of this video because <clears throat> I like putting warnings on these kind type of videos because somebody might not like it. I'll put a content warning in the comment or the, in the um description below but anyway then he his dad woke up shot him killed him then he shot his brother i guess in the chest and he was crawling away he went to the bathroom to hide try to find him shoot him shot him then he went to go hide at a friend's house he confessed what he'd done his Frank called the police and they turned and they arrested him. And he got life in prison, obviously. I mean, no surprise there. And he made like this chilling video of him talking, saying, If I was gonna, you know, um, go out and do what I wanted to do, they would have to die. And. Um, that's basically, um, the whole gist of what he did. Because you don't want him knowing about, he was not want his parents knowing about what the shit he was going to do with that school. But then it became too real for him and he just stopped and killed his parents. And to this day, he's still in that prison, um, <clears throat> rotting. Well, not rotting, but he's in that prison every day thinking about what he's fucking done um <clears throat> that is the ending of this case this case is one of the more infamous case a lot of people know about it just like people know about chris chris chan randy stair um as well guys when people know about those three because they became famous because people were fans of these three people. And they're fans of um, this guy until he did what he fucking did. I mean, you never know what people are doing off camera, man. I mean, these people could be killers that you're watching on YouTube, man. You never fucking know. But that was the horrifying case of um, Trey Sessor. Okay, Mr. Anime. Let me know in the comments what you think about this case. What do you think? Could have been prevented. Do you think he could have been um, helped? Do you think he could have gotten help? Let me know in the comments below. Um, I might do another case after this. After I upload this video right here, I'm thinking of doing. Um, God, what's his name? The girl. Um, Kelly Ronahan. This girl who lost her legs for doing sick shit to herself. That's going to be the next video, guys. Um, make sure you watch with caution because that's one of the more disturbing ones. But we'll get to it. So with that said, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. See you all in the next video. Peace out.